I think this YouTube game is, game is rigged. I really, and I'm starting to realize that it's rigged. It's not about, you know, you see these YouTubers talking about, well, you just got to know how to position your thumbnail and you know how to time your videos where it attracts people in your CPM. That That's all bullshit. If these people at YouTube don't put your video in a position where it's getting saw, getting seen, saw, getting seen to get somebody to click on it, it don't matter what you, what you do to the video. I don't, I can sit here right now and interview Jesus Christ sitting next to me straight from the dead and, and post it up with the, with the dopest thumbnail and that should get seven views. It's all about how you, how YouTube positions your video for it to get views. It is not the quality of your video. Cause I've seen people put a video of them literally counting the 10 and it should get a million views. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, some motherfucker done spent four days editing the perfect edit that redid it and put all kind of triggers in it and all kind of, what they call it? Um, I guess they call it breadcrumbing, right? Where you try to get people, you lead people into the video and keep them watching. That don't mean shit. Unless you're like a hot girl. If you're a hot girl, you'll get views. Cause like, you know, hot girls, the majority of men aren't getting with hot girls. So that's something to look at. Men looking at a hot girl wishing they can be with the hot girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or vice versa. If you're a man with like a nice body, maybe you'll get some views. You won't get as many views as the hot girl, but you'll get some views. But other than that, if you're just throwing up videos, no matter what the content, this shit is rigged, man. I don't care what nobody say. You know, I've done, I done put up so many videos. I've been doing this shit since 2008. People say, well, what about Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast got lucky. <laughs> Motherfucker ain't no expert. He got lucky. They put him in position to win. You know, all of his videos are entertaining. If YouTube doesn't put it in position where it gets the, it gets people to click on it, to watch it. It don't matter how good the video is. I can go and get Martin Scorsese right now and go and dig up Ray Liotta from the from the grave and we can do Goodfellas 3 with a living uh, with a back from a dead uh, back from back from the dead um Ray Liotta and shoot Goodfellas I'm saying I said Goodfellas 3 Goodfellas 2 if YouTube doesn't put that thumbnail in position where it gets seen and people click on it it doesn't matter what the what what the content is youtube has to put you in position where people see your thumbnail to even click on the motherfucker let alone get views so it's not it's necessarily not even your content you think damn i must be doing a horrible job no your video could be really i've done some really good videos to where i've showed friends that i mean this video is very interesting why well, i didn't get no it's the same People they even ask me why I didn't get no views. You got on you. You've been on YouTube for a year and you only got 500 views. Hey, this is fucking good. I watched it from beginning to end. Yeah, because they're not putting the video in position to get any views. You know, and you can share it on your Facebook page. You can share it on your Instagram. You can share the video all over the world. But if YouTube doesn't put the video in position where it it it, it can that thumbnail can be seen. It don't matter what the them it doesn't matter what the quality of the video, what the content is, what the subject matter is. If YouTube doesn't put I put I put trash up and it's gotten hundred thousand views. <laughs> you know, like this like really people watch this is straight garbage. But it's the fact that YouTube put it in position to be saw. You know what I'm saying? This dude finna go fishing over here. That's not even a fish pond. What is he fishing for? But anyway, um, I don't know. I, I think this shit is rigged, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I think they let certain people... It's to keep the hype up. It's to keep people posting in hopes that maybe one day I'll be the next Kyle Sinead or Mr. Beast or PewDiePie. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I just, that one video is going to hit. You know, it may hit, but it may be five years from now. Then once that video hit, then what? 
you gotta wait another five years for your next video to hit. It's to keep you posting, because that's what YouTube is all about. The more we keep posting in hopes to be these people, then the more business YouTube get, the more ads they can make, the more money they can make. YouTube, they, they said YouTube makes $100 million a week off ads. $100 million a week, nigga. <sighs> Just saw people posting up stuff and putting ads and them getting, you know what I'm saying? A hundred million a week. It's a lot of money. So a hundred million a week. So that means a hundred million a week, right? How much does it cost to get a billion? It takes a hundred million, hundred, it takes a thousand billions to get a billion, right? So you gotta think, if they make a hundred million a week, one, two, three, four, they make four, 400 million in a month they make 900 million in two months no 800 million yeah they make 800 million in two months that third month they already had a billion so that three in three months they make over a billion dollars off youtube in three months they make a, a billion dollars off youtube youtube makes a billion dollars every three months <laughs> When people ain't even seen a fraction of that shit. Most of, most of the people that's contributing the content. They make a billion dollars in three months, dude. So that means in, in six months, they've made two billion dollars. <laughs> that's insane. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. Now, I think the people give them the power to make that kind of money. But, but the... But the YouTube, the people that can make, the people that can actually stop working their job and work YouTube full time is very small. I would say maybe less than a, I would say maybe even less than a, uh, maybe, maybe not less than a thousand. There's probably a thousand people out there, a thousand people out there that can really make good money from YouTube. But I would say it's definitely got to be, it, 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 for, for, you know, for the amount of people who post on YouTube. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. I had to take a little, do this little thing. Anyway, but yeah, so that's what I think, man. I've been doing YouTube now for eight years. And sometimes I have a good month, and the next thing, I'm chasing that good month for six months to get that up, that, that next good month. Like one month, let me tell you one, let me tell y'all the truth. One month I made five grand off YouTube. 5,000 for a video that went viral. So, I'm, so and that was in January. <laughs> we, we, we happened up on January. That's the, that was the last, then maybe, I think maybe, from that one video that went viral, I was able to parlay that until the next month, it was $1,200. Then the next month it was six and it started going down, down. And now I'm back down to zero. So I, now I've been plugging away, throwing up videos, trying to go viral again. And the shit ain't working. I, I am getting nowhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting absolutely nowhere. So you gotta think from January, it was January of, at, at the beginning of 2024 is when I saw some real money from YouTube. It's December, so it's, it's going to be January 2025. So if I can hit five grand once every year, that ain't enough to quit doing, <laughs> quit doing you, quit you know what I'm saying to quit my job to do YouTube full time. Five grand every every 12 months, you know that ain't shit. So, but I, but like I was saying, um, it's only it's like a walking the damn street. It's only, it's only a small percentage of people who can actually live off YouTube and pay their bills, ain't gotta work another job. Very small. And, and so you gotta think, it's millions of people, millions of people trying to be the next, next big YouTuber, the next content creator. Millions. Throwing up videos, hoping that maybe one day that one of these will go viral and they can stop fucking working for the work, working a job that they hate and be a full time content creator. You know, a thousand ain't shit. People say that's about a thousand or so people that can literally quit their job and do YouTube full time and, and and really do it and really do YouTube as a full fledged content creator business. Oh, well, out of millions of people that's trying to do it, only a couple thousand that can do it full time. That's a very, very small percentage of people that can really do this shit full time. You know, you gotta think people in New York are doing YouTube, people in Chicago, people in, everybody running around with a phone, they, they camera phone or, or, or 
a um or a or a um camera trying to you know get views all over the world people just think oh it's just people just think it's just in america no youtube is everywhere you gotta think all over all people people in london people in um china people in uh well, i don't think they i don't think they got youtube in china i don't think they play that shit but i'm saying like japan people in rome you gotta think youtube is worldwide so so you're vowing for attention Millions of people all over us bowing from chasing that viral white horse. I guess you call it the white horse. The viral unicorn. I'm going to call it the viral unicorn. People are, uh, millions of people are all over the world are trying to chase that viral YouTube unicorn. And they're throwing up video, throwing up video, throwing up video. Shit, they only got 10 videos. 10 views. Fuck. Let me throw up another video. Oh, that one, oh, that one got 100. Okay, well, God damn it. Let me keep putting up more video, more video, more video, more video. And you're just digging away, digging away, digging away. Years are going by. And maybe you may hit a viral video and you may get $500 in your pocket one month. Now you think you're doing good for yourself. So you keep putting up more. They're just dangling that carrot in front of you. Hoping that maybe one day I can just keep it, can, you know, keep it going. That's what the problem is, being consistent. Now, had I had that good month where I made five grand, the next month, I got another five grand. The next one I got 10 grand. The next one, I, maybe I might've fell short and maybe made three grand, but three grand, that's still three grand. But then, but then the next one, I may hit another five grand. If it gets to that point, now I can quit my job. But only happened once, for, I only made viral once in one year and it was only five grand. And get, guess what? It was damn near a million views to get that five grand. <laughs> so it's like, you know what I'm saying? And it got to be hella long to even, you know, I think the video was like maybe 30 minutes long. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? And it was just a whim video. It was just a video I just threw up. Not even paying attention. Okay, I throw this up and see what it does. <laughs> that shit got five grand. So it's like, that's a bad business model. Because running a business, you got to know I'm going to be able to make this much if I sell this much. You don't, with YouTube, you don't know what you're going to get. You may throw it up and it may get. 100 views, may get 100,000 views, maybe may, it might get 10 million views, or it may just get six views. Like the average person gets six views and they don't get shit. So I don't know, man. I think this YouTube game is rigged, man. What y'all think, man? Let me know in the comments for all you YouTubers out there. Let me know what you, are y'all as frustrated as I am as a content creator? Like, are y'all thinking, man, this shit is rigged? Kai knew somebody at YouTube, at Twitch. Pewdie, you know, Mr. Beast must be got to connect that YouTuber, son. That's why that motherfucker in the position he's in. You know what I'm saying? You start thinking shit like that. You're like, wait a minute. This is a good video. Why why, why they only got 60 views? You know what I'm saying? Because I've done that. I've showed videos to other people. Like, maybe it's maybe to me, I think, because I, I, I'm the one made this shit. I'm a, so, I, of course, I'm going to think it's a shit. Let me show other people that'll give me their honest opinion if this video is good or not. And I've showed people, and they're like, dude, this video is really good. My little documentaries I, I used to make. Man, man, this video is really good, Charles. Ah, why I didn't get no views? Like, I know. I'm trying to figure that shit out. I didn't share it. I didn't share it. I didn't share it. I didn't put it on my Facebook page. I didn't put it on Instagram. I didn't put links out. And, it's my, and I probably got five views out of all that plugging away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And maybe one thumbs up. So it's like, I know the video was dope because I've showed it to other, three or four other people. They said, this is good. So it's like, it ain't the video, it's, it's are they placing it in the faces of the people to get it seen? It don't matter how good the video is, is, is YouTube putting the video in position where it can be seen, where it can get views and 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 and, and uh, people can share it and, and leave comments, you know? It's that age old saying, if you chop down a tree, in the woods and nobody's around to see it. Did, did you really top? Did you really chop down the tree? If nobody saw you do it, what the fuck difference does it make? You know what I'm saying? Same thing with YouTube. You can do this immaculate masterpiece, but if they don't put it in the faces of people, so people can click on it and see it, what matter does it make? If it's stuck in the back of the line and nobody ever sees the shit, it's like and it gets and sixty motherfuckers see it and it stops there. It's like what. You know what do you know it don't matter how good shit is if the shit ain't being seen that's all i'm saying